Hey, welcome to Electra Online, and now we're going to explore how we can find the stellar radius in some other way. So here we have the relationship between the luminosity of a star relative to the lum luminosity of the sun is equal to the radius of the star relative to the radius of the sun, quantity squared, times the temperature of the star divided by the tem temperature of the sun, quantity to the fourth power. That came out of Stefan Boltzmann's law. And we can solve this equation for the radius. We can actually set it up in such a way that if we know the luminosity of a star and we know the temperature of a star relative to the sun, then we can find out the radius of the star relative to the sun. So rather than measuring it directly using telescope and interferometry and occultation or, or using a binary star system, we can try to find the radius of a star simply by knowing the luminosity and knowing the temperature. So the first thing we're going to do here is how do we determine the temperature of a star? Well, we use what we call a filter system. Most often used, we use the B and the V filter, B for blue uh, and V for visible light, which means a B filter lets through light at predominantly 445 nanometers and a narrow band around it, and the visible light filter lets through light at 551 nanometers and a narrow band around it. So let's say we look at a star like Sirius, which is a fairly bright, hot star, fairly high temperatures. So we look at the star with a B filter, and we see how bright it appears. And of course, the brighter it is, the smaller the number, because the magnitude, negative means uh, very bright, and positive means not so bright. The bigger the number, the dimmer, the smaller the number, the brighter. So then we look at the light from Sirius with a V filter, and we see how bright it appears through that filter, and then we subtract the magnitude of the one minus the magnitude of the other. So we take the, the brightness factor with a blue filter, and we subtract from that the brightness factor with a visible light filter, and then, of course, if the number is negative, it appears brighter in the blue than it does in the rest of the visible light spectrum, so therefore it must be a very hot star. But if the visible light is a large is a smaller number that means it looks brighter in visible light so therefore we get a positive number there yes it's a little bit confusing but basically what it means and here we have a table is the smaller the number into the negative the hotter the star the bigger number and into the positive the cooler the star so in this case when we do the b minus v calculation for Sirius, we get 0 0.009 very close to zero so we go back to our table here and we we'll look and we we'll see at zero the temperature of the star is 9,500 Kelvin, and so it's a slightly bigger than zero, so look from zero to 0.15, it's about 115 the way from zero to 0.15, so it's about 115 the way from this to this, so we can say that the temperature of Sirius, the surface temperature, is about 9,400 degrees Kelvin. So 9,400 Kelvin would be the temperature of Sirius based upon the measurements we made with the blue filter and the visible light filter. So again, notice that the, the more visible it is through a filter, the smaller the magnitude number, and so therefore a small number minus a big number would give us a negative number, which means that it's not very visible in the visible light, but very visible in the blue light, then we'd get a negative number, very hot star. But if it's, very, if it's very visible in the visible light and not very visible in the blue light, then we would get a very small number here because magnitude smaller is bigger. And so a big number minus a small number gives us a big number. That means it's not very, it's, uh, it's not very hot. It's a relatively cool star. And that's how the B minus V calculation works. So now that we know that, we have one piece of the puzzle in figuring out the radius of a star. We need to know the temperature and the luminosity, the temperature can be measured by looking at the star with two different filters, the blue filter, the visible light filter. We, diff we subtract the one measurement from the other as far as the magnitude is concerned, and then we go look on the table to see how hot that star is on the surface. So now we have that. The next, the next portion is to find out how to find the luminosity in an independent fashion, and that we'll see on the next video on how to do that.